So the stock market's been a bit rocky today, guys. We started off the day green. Now it's currently 12.30 p.m. on the East Coast, and we're red. The S&P's down 0.1%, the Russell's down 0.7%, the NASDAQ 100's down 0.5%, and we have the Dow at break even, so we have to break down some stocks, some charts, my thoughts on the markets, plus more. So sit back, relax, hit the like button, subscribe, and check out my Patreon. If you guys want my buys, sells, call-outs, morning update videos, plus more, more all of that's linked down below on patreon and you guys can get 50 free bucks from m1 finance just use my link down below deposit 100 bucks and we each get 50 bucks it's that simple and with that being said let's get into it so as of now like i said it's 12 30 p.m and the market started off green but now we've been seeing some selling you guys can see here spy is still breaking out don't get me wrong but we've been seeing a lot of selling look at this this is the 10 day 30 minute chart we broke out on friday above the wedge and above the moving averages and today pre-market we actually took out the highs from friday you guys can see it here we hit about 468 on friday and today pre-market we hit just above 469 which is very bullish the fact that we took out the highs from friday and that's on qqq as well it's pretty much the same analysis right qqq broke out on the 10 day chart on Friday above the moving averages and above the wedge and we hit about 395 ish in the pre-market or rather after hours on Friday and today in the pre-market we hit above 396 so this looks bullish but once the markets open pretty much we got a flood of selling, a sea of red, if you will, even though it's not that bad considering overall on the 10-day chart, we're still breaking out at least the way I'm seeing it. But once the market's open, we got the sell-off, and now we're seeing a bit of a double bottom on SPY at 466, at least at the time of me filming this video. And let me see, do we see a double bottom on QQQ as well? Kind of. We're kind of seeing a double bottom there at about 392 on QQQ as well. So if this were to simply be a dip, right, a little sell-off, buyers must step in where we are right now. And uh, for QQQ... They got to step in around 392, 393, which is right around that 180 moving average on this 10-day chart and right by the resistance of the wedge, which, again, if this is simply a dip, simply a, a dip within the breakout, buyers must step in at this resistance of the old wedge, which is now support. And for SPY, if we see buyers step in around the 180 SMA, which we are seeing a green candle forming here above that on the 10-day chart and above the wedge, that's going to be a good sign for the bulls, right? So as of now, we're still breaking out. This is simply a pullback within the breakout, and we'll see how this day ends up playing out. And we will break it down in my video later on today. So you, yes you, if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss that video and any of the other content that I'm making here on YouTube, which I have a lot of content, guys, and I'm not stopping. So make sure to subscribe and hit the like button if you are finding value and with that being said let's talk about some stocks three in particular that i'm looking at right now number one being tesla let's talk about tesla guys because elon musk is at it yet again and i believe the tweets he sent out are now deleted i checked the twitter uh his twitter account before making this video and by the way make sure to follow me on twitter at Stasurfest and Instagram and on TikTok for that matter. All, all of those platforms are at Stasurfest. Make sure to follow me there. Um, he since deleted the tweets, but this weekend he was uh, going at it with Bernie Sanders, believe it or not. Bernie Sanders tweeted, quote unquote, we must demand that the extremely wealthy pay their fair share, period, is what he said. And then Elon Musk went at him and said, want me to sell more Tesla stock, Bernie? Just say the word. And he, he said something else. He said, he says something like, are you still alive or something? Or I didn't think you were still alive or something, which it, it's a little funny, guys. Come on, have a little bit of a sense of humor. A lot of you all 
probably think it's funny. Maybe a small minority that get offended at everything. They might not think it's funny, but I thought it was funny. I mean, call me crazy. Um, and again, I think he's since deleted those tweets, which I guess that's a good sign or or uh, good on his PR team or whatever to make him delete those tweets. Or maybe he didn't delete them, but I checked Twitter recently and they weren't there. Um, so I guess he did delete them. And uh, look, the stock is selling off on that. Just that alone, down 4.5%. And on top of that, we got, I think it was last week, he said he wanted to sell 10% of his Tesla. He put a poll up, and he's been selling his Tesla in little blocks um, since then, is what I've been hearing, right? So now we see Tesla stock getting to that level that I talked about, and you guys in my Patreon know I trimmed Tesla at $1230, $1,200 and $1230, um, $1230 right? That's where I trimmed it and I mentioned to you guys look it was very overbought it's ran up like crazy and I said if we do pull back we're probably going to go to that 180 SMA on the four hour chart whether it be 900 950 right in that general range and now look where we are we're pretty much right at 900 950 we're trading a little bit under a thousand right now we're at 988 at the time that I'm filming this video and we also took out the lows if you guys take a look here on the 10 day chart we took out the lows from last week the lows from last week were around a thousand bucks a hair under at about 985 990 and we took those lows out today we hit 978 so I'm not saying I'm going all in and buying this Tesla dip. All I'm saying is, look, if we do get low 900s, 950, right by this main moving average, I wouldn't be surprised if we did see at least some sort of relief rally, right? Maybe from 900 to 950, we pop back over 1,000, 1,050, maybe 1,100. And I think that could be a short-term opportunity here on Tesla stock as the 180 SMA has really been support, at least on this four-hour chart, for a couple of months, for five months at this point, every time we've seen a pullback, we've held that moving average and we've bounced off of it at least for a short period of time. Uh, and, and now, am I saying it's going to go to 1400 1500 if it bounces off the 180 SMA? I'm not saying that, but again, I think a little relief rally is uh, very possible. So keep your eyes out on Tesla, ticker symbol TSLA. Stock number two is Mercado Libre. And somebody commented on my video recently where I talked about Mercado Libre. And apparently I've been saying it wrong. Guys, don't judge me. My Spanish, not the best. I can speak Greek fluently. I'm proud of that. I've been, I've been able to do that since I was a very teeny little baby, right? been able to speak Greek. That was actually my first language because uh, it's crazy. My, my, my grandparents, I would go to their house uh, when my parents were at work when I was little, and I was speaking Greek since 2-3 before I could even fully speak English, which is crazy because I grew up in America, right? Crazy, though. Um, it's crazy how quick babies can learn. Um, that, that That's a whole different topic for a whole different video. That's not going to be on this channel because it's a stock market channel. But overall, if I butcher Mercado Libre the way the way you say it, I apologize, guys. But this stock M E L I is very interesting here. It's up two percent on the day, up thirty bucks per share. And I'm noticing ever since they reported earnings recently, about a week, two weeks ago, um, the stock's been gaining steam. And before that, we actually had a double bottom. They reported earnings, and now we're seeing a breakout after that double bottom, which is very bullish. And we actually saw a bit of profit taking last week. We hit 1700 right by the 180 SMA here on the four hour chart. Now we pulled back to about 1560, 1600 right by the 50 SMA on this four hour chart. And that is where buyers are now stepping in to push this thing higher. And I believe ultimately this will take the 1700 high out and it will break the uh, 180 SMA, which at that point, this might start going towards, dare I say, 2000 bucks a share. And on the year chart, you guys can see exactly that. You know, we're actually, um, the double bottom that we saw was actually at the bottom of this wedge on this yearly chart. And it only makes sense if we break out of 17 Hundred, we're going nineteen hundred, two thousand. So keep your eyes on Meli Macardo Libre. I don't know if that's how you say it. Probably butchered it again, <laughs> guys. I took Spanish in high school. 
it didn't go well for me. Let me just put it that way. <laughs> and the next stock is Riot Blockchain. R-I-O-T. This one's taken a beating today. Not really a beating, but it's down a bit, down 3%. And that makes sense considering over the past um, two, three weeks, it's up from $27, you know, all the way to 43 So it ran up a lot. So we are seeing a bit of profit taking. And overall, I think this looks pretty solid. You know, we're still breaking out. We're well above the moving averages. We broke out of that 38 40 buck high uh, level of resistance, which was a high point um, from the middle of June all the way through the beginning of September. So we're still breaking out. We're just simply seeing a pullback within the breakout, which is very healthy um, and an overall uptrend. So in my opinion, Raya Blockchain, where it is right now, this could end up being a dip buy. And you guys can see it here on the 20-day chart as well. We hit 49 bucks in the pre-market. Now we're about 6 7 bucks off those pre-market highs. And we're getting close to the moving averages on the 20-day chart. So I think... I fully believe 38 40 bucks is a buy zone on Riot, maybe even 41 42 and uh, I'm considering this as a swing trade as of right now with a price target of about 50 to 55 bucks, maybe 60 per share, which could be pushing it a bit, but considering 60 65 was the high point earlier in this year, it's not too far fetched especially with uh, Bitcoin, crypto, and you know how hot it is right now. I wouldn't be surprised if we did see that type of move. So, those are three stocks, guys. Tesla, Mercado Libre, Riot, let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. I'd love to know. As always, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe, and turn on that notification bell and check out my Patreon if you guys want my buy, sells, call outs, morning update videos, more access to me throughout the day. All of that's on Patreon, link down below, or you can go to stocksurfest.com slash Patreon. Make sure to also get your 50 bucks from M1 Finance, which is limited time. All you have to do is use my link, deposit 100 bucks. We each get 50 bucks, and that's it. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching again. As always, keep crushing the markets. Stay safe out there. Peace out.